Thank you, Victoria. Well, right now, thousands of children across Texas are living in the care of the state or foster homes. For so many reasons, these children are without homes, parents, and other basic needs. You can help by considering adoption. And this morning, we're joined by Norma Robles with Child Protective Services to explain. Good morning, Norma. Thanks Hi. so much for being Good with morning. us. Thank you. Tell us about the need right now here in the Valley for adoptive parents. Okay, well here right now in the Valley we have 82 children uh, just here in the four counties in the Valley that are needing uh, permanent homes. Okay. okay. And we do have some photos to showcase this morning of some of the children that are needing these homes. Uh, there's even a website you can go to to see the pictures of all of these children yes, across the state. That's right, it's adoptchildren.org. Okay, tell me a little bit more about adopting a child. What is the difference mm -hmm. between a foster parent mm -hmm. and adopting? Okay, well a foster parent takes care of children on a temporary basis. Uh, it can be either for days, weeks, months, depending on what the judge uh, orders. Okay. Whereas uh, children that are available for adoption, the parental rights have already been terminated. Okay, mm. so that makes them legally free for adoption. Absolutely. And what are some of the requirements if someone's interested in adopting? Okay, a person must be over the age of 21, mm -hmm. have a stable home, stable income, uh, pass criminal history checks and FPS, what we call FPS checks there, uh, they do a background check to see if they've ever been investigated for abuse or neglect of children. There's training involved, mm -hmm. uh, home study, etc. Tell me why do you think there's such a challenge here in the Valley to get, you know, foster parents, adoptive parents for some of these children? Okay, well, uh, from the adoptchildren.org website, what you can see is most of the children are a little bit older, ages 6 and above, all the way to 17. Now the people that contact me, they're interested either in babies or infants, mm -hmm. and the ones that we have available are older children. Yeah, and how do the older children feel? Because obviously, I mean, they need to be adopted too. They want exactly. parents as well. Exactly. Children never outgrow the need for parents, regardless of whether you're, you know, 17 or 15. Okay. Is there a phone number they can call in case they're interested in perhaps yes. getting more information? They can go ahead and contact me for more information at area code 956-969-9239. Okay. That's my number. Uh, tonight, I'll also have an informational meeting in Westlaco at 6 p.m. at South Texas College Campus. Uh, mm -hmm. In case anyone wants to attend, it's open to the community. And again, anyone can go to, uh, to obtain more information. Okay, perfect. We're going to continue to talk to you a lot more, Norma, about the statistics and this growing problem of the need of foster parents and adoptive parents here in the Valley. So okay. stick around with us. In the meantime, right. let's send it over to Victoria.